principle. Uh, you give people's tax breaks at the top, and you hope that they're going to take their money and invest it, and all of that is going to trickle down to help everybody else. We now see that that doesn't work. We need the president's program to be enacted, and we need a new Congress in order to get it enacted. That's uh, Richard Darman and Robert Reich, and that's one debate that has a while to run. After all, it is four months until the presidential election. And on that subject, supporters of presidential candidate Ross Perot, the wealthy Texas tycoon, had a party last night at the South Fork Ranch, which you might recall as the home of another rich Texan, J.R. Ewing, the fictional oil tycoon of the TV show Dallas. Perot himself did not attend. Then again, neither did Larry Hagman. Speaking of Mr. Perot, Time Magazine reports that even after local environmental officials said no, a construction crew working for Perot blew up a section of a Bermuda coral reef so Perot could bring his yacht closer to his vacation home. Perot says he knew nothing about the damage to the reef, but Time reports that the contractor said Perot watched the explosions from the shore. Bill Clinton is taking a long holiday weekend, one week before the Democratic National Convention begins in New York. Clinton went to church in Little Rock, Arkansas, and then he played a round of golf. Coming up, Columbia's chief scientist explains why the astronauts are doing all those crazy things in space. And later in this broadcast, the young man from Vegas finally wins the big one in London. And up, up and away to a rare vacation hideaway. I'll tell you, I'd swap this for the office in an instant, or at least for a summer. World News Sunday, brought to you by the makers of Advil. Some days my minor arthritis acts up, and I really feel the pain. I used to take aspirin. Now I've switched to Advil. Advil relieves the pain in my stiff joints. In fact, one Advil is as effective as two regular aspirin. And Advil is gentler to my stomach. Maybe that's why doctors recommend Advil for minor arthritis pain more than any other brand. For my pain, I simply prefer Advil. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. Everybody needs some money sometime. Only Western Union can get money to over 16,000 locations in minutes. Somebody Nobody else even comes close. Western Union, the fastest way to send money. It could start in your office, in your home, over lunch. But now, wherever heartburn starts, this is where it ends. Introducing new Maalox Heartburn Relief Formula. No ordinary antacid works like this one to put out heartburn. Overseas now, a mile square oil slick has been spotted near Cannes on the French Riviera. The slick appears to be the result of an accidental spill by a U.S. aircraft carrier. Also in France, traveling became even more of a nightmare today as angry farmers joined angry truckers in disrupting the nation's transportation system. The latest on that now from Jim Bitterman in Paris. After a week of road blockades by French truck drivers, the country is becoming paralyzed. In many places, food and gasoline deliveries have been stopped, and chaos and public anger have flared, as the drivers have cut some of France's most important traffic arteries. Many people were outraged at video of a German tourist who had driven around a blockade being beaten by truck drivers when they caught up with him at a nearby toll station. The government, which has been unwilling or unable to challenge the truckers' blockades, is insisting it will go ahead with plans to create a point system for driving violations, the issue which started the protest. But now the situation seems likely to become even more complicated as farmers, angry over a change in farm support payments, have begun blocking transportation links too. Today, they temporarily cut the high-speed train service to southern France. And there are reports farmers are trying to join forces with the truck drivers in a coordinated anti-government campaign. Something which the unpopular French socialist leaders might not survive. Jim Bitterman, ABC News, Paris. In other news, his name is Danny Ray Horning, but Arizona police call him Rambo Horning. A bank robber who escaped from state prison in early May led police officers on a wild goose chase through the Arizona wilderness for seven weeks until early today. He was caught hiding under a backyard gazebo in a resort community 100 miles north of Phoenix. Columbia is in the home stretch of a record 13-day flight. Its astronauts have been working around the clock studying the effects that weightlessness has not only on them, but on materials they have to carry into space in the future. 
ABC science correspondent Jim Slade talked today with Columbia's chief scientist, Bonnie Dunbar, as she was orbiting 185 miles above the Earth. At the time of the interview, she was in the middle of an experiment designed to recondition her body for the return to gravity that happens this coming Wednesday morning. Dr. Dunbar, uh, we've been looking at what you're doing there. What is it you're doing? Are you comfortable, and why is that necessary? We're setting a way of uh, putting fluids back into the lobby, body prior to landing, and it's called a lower body negative pressure device, and I'm sitting here in it, and it's pulling out the fluids from my head down to my feet. Humans have been flying in space now for 30-some years. Uh, don't we already have a grip on what they need to uh, live well without gravity? Up until the shuttle period of time, we always brought uh, people back in a capsule, and they really didn't weren't involved in active landing, such as we all have with the shuttle program. And the other is, is that we have improved our medical technology as well, and we're a lot smarter than we were 20 years ago in trying to not only understand what's happening to the human body, but how to measure it. Uh, some of the devices we have today, we simply didn't have them to help understand the changes. And there are a lot of changes that do occur, and we're still trying to understand them. With the equipment you now have, why do you need a full-blown space station? There are some processes that will benefit from shorter flights, and some that will benefit from longer flights. Uh, part of that is getting up and working in the zero gravity, coming to a level of efficiency. But the other is doing many trials, experimental trials. That's all part of research. It doesn't always happen the first time. You have to change your conditions. You have to optimize. And that takes time. Is the effect on the human body the most important among the regimes you're studying? Studying the human body is very important for long duration space flight, whether it be on a space station laboratory or exploration, going back to the moon, or we, or we hope eventually our civilization goes on to uh, perhaps Mars. You expect this kind of research to continue indefinitely uh, on into the future? Well, I certainly hope so, because I believe the nation that looks forward in research Thank you, Dr. Dunbar. We'll see you back on the ground on Wednesday. Hope you're taking notes. There's going to be a quiz later. When we return, a lonely place where U.S. soldiers fight boredom to keep the peace. I use a shampoo for dandruff, but my scalp still itches like crazy. You need new Scalpacin, the revolutionary scalp medicine for deep scalp itch, not ordinary dandruff. Scalpacin is not a shampoo. It's a clear liquid you don't wash away like shampoo. Apply Scalpacin anytime for deep scalp itch relief with medicine chosen by doctors over all these dandruff shampoo formulas. Scalpacin penetrates to relieve the itch and help prevent flaking. The itch is gone. New Scalpacin, the scalp medicine for deep scalp itch. You see the word healthy on a lot of things these days, and the thing you got to wonder is, how do they get that way? Well, this is something new. Healthy Favorites Ham from Oscar Mayer. This is the real thing, nothing funny, none of the good stuff taken away. It's real, slow-cooked ham that's naturally low in fat and only 14 calories a slice. New Healthy Favorites from Oscar Mayer. Who else would you trust? Ace Best Buys are terrific values every month, like these. Control pests with Ace Insect Sprays and Home Fogger for just $1.97 each. And Ace 32-gallon trash cans are only $8.97 each. Ace Best Buys. Another reason Ace is the place for you. When you live away from it all, you don't see much TV or get many newspapers. So when you go out for the groceries, you don't make choices based on commercials or coupons. You choose based on facts. And of the 50 leading cereals, you'll find only one that's low in sugar and a good source of fiber and made from whole grain oats, Cheerios. Life isn't this simple everywhere, but choosing a cereal can be. Choose smart. Choose Cheerios. For painful gas, which would you choose? Your antacid or Gas-X, the tablet made for gas? It's extra strength, 100% cymethicone, to fight gas faster. Faster than your antacid. Fight gas right with Gas-X. Back overseas now, Kuwaiti officials are reacting with stunned disbelief using words like ridiculous, absurd, and even hallucinatory. What sent them reeling was an urgent appeal in an Iraqi government newspaper today written by Saddam Hussein's half-brother 
calling on Kuwait to voluntarily unite with Iraq into a single country. United Nations weapons inspectors are locked in yet another standoff with Iraqi authorities. The inspectors want access to a government building in Baghdad. Iraqi officials say the request is insulting to Iraq's sovereignty. The head of the inspection team says they'll spend the night in their cars watching the complex until higher level UN officials can intervene. And while UN inspectors are trying to enforce the terms of the Gulf War ceasefire in Iraq and UN troops are struggling desperately to keep the peace in Sarajevo, well, there's another peacekeeping force that's been doing an effective job for a decade now. ABC's Mike Lee has discovered how peacekeeping looks when it works. Here, on what looks like the end of the earth, is one acre of Americana. They eat and play a small amount of the time to keep from going stir-crazy. Their mission is the most challenging for any soldier. Stay alert and ready, despite no enemy. There are nearly a thousand American troops on duty in this part of the Middle East desert. They are the little-known U.S. Army, which make up half of the multinational peacekeeping force in the Sinai Peninsula. You can have security by saying, I have thousand Americans. Nobody will allow anybody to harm those guys because America is a big country. They will support those thousand soldiers if something happens. Several modern wars have been fought for possession of the Sinai. In 1982, following the Camp David peace treaty, Israel returned the Sinai to Egypt on the condition there would be international safeguards against surprise attacks. For 10 years now, 24 hours a day, the peacekeepers scan the desert. They watch the Israelis patrolling their own side of the border in jeeps. The Egyptian police, only a few feet away, seem less concerned. The multinational force is going through the motions to prevent a war no one expects. But they realize that no combat equals success in the risky world of peacekeeping. We really don't have to worry too much about somebody shooting, whereas uh, UN soldiers, whoever it is that's there at this, this time. In Yugoslavia. Right. They're going to have to keep their heads down, naturally, due to the fighting. The uniqueness of this particular peacekeeping operation and its success is the fact that there is a genuine desire on the part of both parties to maintain the peace that has existed for the uh, past 10 years between them. The U.S. government remains committed to helping keep a peace no one seems to want to break in what amounts to history's forgotten Operation Desert Calm. Mike Lee, ABC News, in the Sinai Peninsula, Egypt. And coming up next, Dick Schaap sitting in for the vacationing Ray Gandalf with sports. Hi, Dick. What have you got for us tonight? Judd, Andre Agassi ruins his image at Wimbledon. The Dream Team interrupts its golf tour to win a basketball game. And a young woman talks to horses who listen. Look at our revenge at Saratoga, right? Domino's new Better Than Ever pizza yet? Where do you get a load of more melted cheese? Where do you taste our bigger, better toppings? Where do you sink your teeth into our more tender, tastier crust? But why wait? Come into Domino's now for our 99 cent carryout special. With every better than ever pizza at the regular price, get a second one topping medium for just 99 cents. Nobody knows like Domino's. Now you like pizza Come in now for our 99 cent carryout special. This just isn't me. This just isn't my kind of love. Think about your daily dreams and what you would do <laughs> if you want a million. How good fat free can be. Oh no, you never let go. No way. It's all mine. Special K waffles from Ego. Ego Special K waffles. Crisp, delicious, yet every bite fat free, cholesterol free, and just 80 calories per waffle. See how good fat free can be. Oh no, you never let go. Nah. Special K waffles from Ego. In our universe, there is always the unknown, the unpredictable. All we can do is prepare for it. AT&T is now installing FastStar. It can detect a cable cut instantly, so 800 calls can get back in minutes instead of hours. We can send flowers for any occasion, anywhere, but only if our 800 service is up and running. Our 800 service isn't just a phone line. 
It's a lifeline. I miss you. AT&T has the most reliable 800 service, period. AT&T. Call us. During the Depression, the WPA created millions of jobs and rebuilt America. Do we need it again today? Watch Peter Jennings on ABC's World News Tonight this week. What a year it's been at Wimbledon. John McEnroe lost his temper. Monica Seles was told to stop grunting so much. And today, an outburst with an international twist. During the men's finals, Goran Ivanisevic, a Croatian, was warned to knock off all that cursing in his native tongue. Seems a TV viewer in Yugoslavia called to complain. Said Ivanisevic, it's probably some Serb. They also played some tennis. And with that and the rest of the sports, here's Dick Shep. Keep it clean, Dick. I promise. Thank you, Judd. Andre Agassi proved today that image is nothing, that he can win the big one, the biggest one of all, the Wimbledon Singles Championship. 37 times, Goran Ivanisevic served aces past Agassi. But in the 10th game of the fifth set, Ivanisevic started off with two double faults in a row. And when Agassi captured the game, the set, and the championship, the 22-year-old American fell to his knees and burst into tears. It was Agassi's fourth Grand Slam final and his first title. No tears in the final of the Tournament of the Americas for the U.S. basketball team. No fears either. Carl Malone scored the first eight points of the title game. The U.S. took a 15-0 lead, and what little suspense there was, was over. The Dream Team now gets a week off to sharpen its golf game. Julie Crone almost never gets a day off, and she loves it that way. Don't wake up so cranky. Julie Crone is the Will Rogers of thoroughbred racing. I never met a horse I didn't like. Seriously? Seriously. Julie Crone's feelings do not go unrequited. She likes horses, and they like to run for her. And here's Montreal Marty driving past to take the lead. They have run so well for her this spring and summer that she has won more races than any other jockey at Belmont Racetrack. If she stays on top till the meeting ends in three weeks, she will be the first woman to win a riding championship in New York, which is a major battleground for gifted jockeys. Crone, who turns 29 this month, has been the first woman to achieve so many things at so many racetracks, she is no longer thought of as a female rider, just as a rider. To me, she's not a girl out there. I mean, she's one of the guys and she's tough and you ain't just gonna run over her. I mean, she's always gonna be there. Give you a fight to the end. If there is a secret to Crone's success, it is her relationship with her mounts, her ability to bring out their speed with touch even more than toughness. She is certainly strong for a four foot ten, one hundred and one pound athlete, but she is even more sensitive. The horse is very subtle and very in tune to what a rider is asking it and, and wants it to do. And the best way to always keep a horse is very calm and relaxed. Mike Smith has been the leading rider at Belmont for the past two years. He is the second leading rider now. I think probably her strongest quality is real quiet on the horse. She gets the horse to relax. Uh, she's got real quiet hands. And whenever she moves, I mean, the horses just seem to really respond for her. In the winner's circle is To Freedom, ridden by Julie Crone. Crone has been racing professionally for a dozen years. She has won more than 2,000 races. She will earn a million dollars this year, and she gives the credit to the horses. I'm going to be the first person to always say that it's, you know, 90% horse and 10% jockey. And I really strongly feel that way. They're the true athletes, the horses. Often, Julie and her agent, Larry Cooper, spend time talking to trainers, lining up mounts, the lifeblood of a jockey. Uh, when you put me on a horse... Given a choice, Crone would rather talk to the animals. Do you speak horse? <laughs> I'd like to think so. I better, right? I think I'm speaking it okay now, and I hope to get much better. <laughs> if she gets any better, she'll speak horse better than the horses do. Judd? Take that, Mr. Ed. We'll be back in a moment with our final report. To fight the effects of corrosion, the body of the Buick Regal has been built with two-side galvanized steel that goes beyond what most car makers use, beyond Honda, beyond Toyota. In fact, all Buicks are warranted against outer body rust through for six years or 100,000 miles. And that's a promise you don't have to take with a grain of salt. 
this is the time to use Ace Paint. Hey, Ace knows what it takes to make great paint, because Ace makes its own. Ace Paint, top quality in every drop, guaranteed. Ace five-star acrylic latex house paint is just $8.97 a gallon. Another reason Ace is the place for you. It could start in your office, in your home, over lunch. But now, wherever heartburn starts, this is where it ends. Introducing new Maalox Heartburn Relief Formula. No ordinary antacid works like this one to put out heartburn. The holiday weekend is just about over, but there's still plenty of summer left. And maybe you're looking for that special getaway, you know, far from the crowds and traffic and noise of the city. Well, ABC's Charlie Murphy has a suggestion. Charlie? Available weekends, high mountain hideaways, 20 to $30 a night, bathrooms just down the hill. There used to be 5,000 fire towers in America. Today, about 500 are still standing, mostly in the Northwest. Many are still in use as lookouts. Others can be rented by campers and backpackers. The amenities are a little limited, but the government gives you a view that can only be described as breathtaking. And getting up to one of these things can be a little breathtaking, too. Calling all radio amateurs. Calling all radio amateurs. Stuart McClellan and Bob Mansfield rented Deer Ridge Lookout for the weekend for a ham radio field day. I'll tell you, I'd swap this for the office in an instant, or at least for a summer. It would be well worth trying. This is Pam Allen's office. She's starting her eighth summer as a fire watcher on Lookout Mountain in Idaho's Panhandle National Forest. Her 14 by 14 tower is fairly luxurious compared to most. Propane stove, refrigerator and lights, but no running water. She's up here five days, off two. Her best friend, a ground squirrel. It's always been important for me to have solitary time, and I think you get to stages in your life where you realize what things are important to you, and then you have them. This was the first day on the job for Matt Duvall on Sundance Lookout. This whole mountain burned off in a big fire 25 years ago. Forests this summer are drier than at any time since. Ray Kresick has one of the most beautiful views in Spokane, his own backyard from a restored L4 model built in the 30s. As a 16-year-old, Ray spent a summer in a tower and never got over it. He's visited more than a 1,000 and written a book. He says he was never bored. Yeah, I think some of the greatest uh, uplifting moments can be watching the sun come up and watching the sun go down from a 9,000-foot mountaintop. Since most require a three to seven mile hike to get to them, they are only for the hardiest of souls. You know, only the lonely. Charles Murphy, ABC News, and the Idaho Panhandle National Forest. From the top of the world, we wish you the top of the evening. That's our report for tonight. I'm Judd Rose. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. Someday, somebody's killing all the good men. You asked me if Michael had any enemies. Mary Lou Henner, Leslie Ann Down. No man is safe from lady killers. San Francisco's famous for three things. Cable cars, the Golden Gate Bridge, and that delicious sourdough bread. The secret to Hardy's new Frisco Burger. Introducing Hardy's Frisco Burger. Grilled sourdough bread topped with a thick Hardy's quarter pound burger, melted Swiss, sizzling bacon, and sliced tomatoes. Try a box of our fries and you could win instant cash. Over $10 million in food awards and cash prizes available. Are you ready for some real food? Hardee's. It might look like Velveeta loaf, but it won't cook like it. You may cook with some look-alike stuff. But it won't cook enough like Velveeta. They're thin or they're pale or they'll run. At least they got the shape of the box right. But Velveeta marches on. You can try some look-alikes forever, but Velveeta cooks better. There's Velveeta Light, too. Mostly clear this evening with temperatures in the 60s. No, what does it? Two, what does it?